it's Mariah and welcome back to my channel girl if you are new be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below because you are going to love it here okay the vibes are always vibing and even when the vibes ain't vibing the vibes are always vibing okay in today's video i'm taking you guys with me to go hygiene shopping and girl we're gonna be doing some shopping today okay we're shopping for everything like skincare oral care body care feminine hygiene and so much more and baby when i tell you i'm putting y'all on okay i'm putting the girlies on to all the products that i can't live without all the products that just keep me smelling good all day and products that i think literally every girl should just know about and i just feel like if you know me then one thing about me you should know i'm a self-care girly okay like mariah is a self-care queen i I love all things self-care and I just feel like little things like taking myself hygiene shopping just make me feel so good like it just makes me feel so good so I'm really excited to go shopping today and we're gonna be heading over to Target today for all of our self-care essentials girl um it also made me a little list a little list of all the products that I want to restock on and I also want to browse around Target for some new products that I've just been wanting to try and it's just something about self-care that just makes me so freaking happy like I'm so excited for today's video I feel like a lot of you guys found me from my self-care videos if you haven't seen like all my feminine hygiene shower routine videos I'll go ahead and link those down below as well and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this intro up y'all because I want to go ahead and head over to Target hopefully it's not too packed in there because one thing about vlogging in public the social anxiety be through the roof. So let's go ahead and head out and I will see you guys once we get there. All right, y'all, so we made it to Target. Starting out strong with Ordinary for skincare. Can never go wrong. This glycolic acid is literally a holy grail for me. Definitely gonna pick some of this up for sure. I've tried other brands, but nothing hits like the ordinary one and i've also heard people talk about this peeling solution it's red it looks like this right here is 950 which honestly isn't bad if it works so should we try her y'all like what is it giving i think we're gonna try her it's a new year so new products you can honestly never go wrong with ordinary products like i feel like all of their ingredients are so good they also have a makeup removal i try to stick to products that i've heard good reviews on or like I can vouch that is actually good. So yeah, I think we're gonna go with the brightening facial peel. This is probably really good for um, dark spots. And then I also re-upped on the glycolic acid. Now this is my favorite aisle in Target. I really been wanting to try this brand, a face wash, the La Roche Posay. If you know me, you know I've been using the Panoxal, which is a holy grail for me, but I just recently purchased some of this, so I'm not gonna get it again. But I've really been wanting to try this. I've heard mixed reviews about it, so I'm not sure if I should. I don't know. I feel like it'll be better for my skin. My skin already, I feel like, is used to the Panoxal, so maybe this will be something different. I don't know. It's so risky trying these skincare products, but we just gonna go for it. This is gentle foaming cleansing oil. This is gentle foaming moisturizing wash. And they also have this one. This is a purifying foaming cleanser. I think we're gonna go with this one. What's the difference though between this one and this one? I don't know. It's giving this one. We're gonna try her. Oh my gosh, and this one's also really, really good. This is the best vitamin C serum I've ever used in my entire life. It's a little pricey but the price is so worth it and it literally has been lasting me like for months now so definitely would recommend this one as well this is also a skincare favorite of mine this hyaluronic acid like water gel moisturizer it's so so good they also came out with a new one this one has spf in it you can do a two in one like sunscreen and moisturizer at the same time so that's another recommendation of mine and i'm also gonna get some micellar water the girls were saying that this is really good to take off your makeup with honestly if i'm being 100 percent honest i'll be using my face wash to take off my makeup with but we gonna try this and see what it's giving i'm trying to figure out what i guess like scent i should get if any scent like i think this is like the regular one i don't know yeah let's go ahead and try this one now i always hear mixed reviews on both of these products i've only ever tried the panoxyl spot patches i've never tried the starface ones but i can confirm that the panoxyl ones work like so good but the starface ones are 12.99 i think these run for about nine dollars does that mean it works better because it costs more i don't know so i think i'm going to try the starface ones and see what it's given and of course we all know about 
about Mighty Patch Girl, but ever since Pinout Saw came out with some pimple patches and Starface, and everybody been talking about this, and I've actually never tried this, so I don't know. But I noticed that they also have like under eye patches now, which is different. I've been using the ones from Topicals. They don't have that in Target. You have to get that from Sephora, and I literally love those down, so I don't think I'm switching up on Topicals just yet. Ooh, these are really good too. The Bore um, Deep Cleansing Pore Strips love these and I love to use cotton rounds to apply like my toner and now I'll be using them to take off my makeup with the micellar water that we just picked out I've never seen Target have these though these are the cotton ovals it says exfoliating so I'm curious to see what this is giving oh wait a minute this says premium let's get the premium ones instead and then moving right along gotta get some more q-tips q-tips are just essential so let's go ahead and pick some of these up as well and since we're already on the topic of skincare this is a sunscreen that I live by black girl sunscreen spf 45 it doesn't leave like that nasty like gray or purple undertone so i love her down your republic is so tea like i use this whenever i go on vacation it makes me look so shiny and like dewy and nice only in the summer though i wouldn't like wear that all year round this one's more flexible all year round but this one maybe vacay spf 100 okay <laughs> to body care i'm so excited um honestly it's giving like out of stock of most of my faves but we're still gonna make it work okay b this right here game changer literally so iconic like the best body wash i feel like i've ever had in my life now the price is kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie but i'm telling you it's so worth it i've never tried this one i've only ever tried this one and it's giving like baccarat in a body wash i'm not even lying it's so good one thing about me y'all know i'm a dub girly okay and i've never seen this aloe and eucalyptus scent before so let's see what she's giving this smells really good it's like really refreshing so we're definitely gonna go ahead and get her Ooh, i've never seen this one either this is cherry and chia milk mm, no <laughs> negative two out of ten that stinks they're really out of stock of a lot of stuff y'all it's not really giving like new products like i'm trying to switch it up but they're out of stock of a lot of stuff Ooh, i've never seen this one this is a body polish you guys know i love dove's body polish let's see what this smells like it kind of smells like nothing. Like it's giving very much like clay or something. I don't know if I like that. I don't think these have scents. And this looks used. Yeah, ew. Look how nasty this looks. Somebody definitely used that. Ew. When I tell you this is a holy girl product of mine, it's literally my favorite body polish that Dove has ever made. Like it's literally so good. They have this one too. It's pomegranate. So let's see if this smells better. Okay. I kind of like that. I don't know. Which one should we get, y'all? I don't know. This is a Holy Grail product, but this is new. I don't love it, but I like it. I feel like it'll smell better once I lather it up. Maybe we should try something new. It's not awful, but it's not my favorite. But I feel like, you know, once you like lather stuff up, it like smells different on your body. Hopefully I'm right. Now I'm sure y'all have heard about these. I feel like TikTok has hyped this up so much. I've never tried it, but it's giving. I'm going to try it today. The smoother Glycolic Acid Body Wash or the Glow Getter multi oil i think this is the one that y'all be hyping up should i get this one or should i get the glow getter i don't know but all i know is i always see this all over tiktok and i'm like is it even giving like is it even good did they show you the promotion sorry we got a promotion going on these if you're in the area we got a i'm okay sir no, but these are so good. These are so good. This was my favorite. Like, these always give me a really good lather. The scent isn't the best, but it's that lather. Like, it lathers up so nice. And I always feel super clean after I use these. And I wanted to love Dr. Bronner's so bad, y'all, but it's too strong for my skin. Like, I used the peppermint one, and I thought I was literally about to fall out in my shower. Like, it was too much. They have this hemp rose one. I've never tried this one. I've only tried the peppermint one. Should we give it another shot? No, I don't know. Let's see. Now y'all know I'm a wax girly, but I do still shave like my legs and my underarms. And when I do, I use this. EOS Shave Cream is so good. I tried this one. I love the scent of this one, but I've never seen the purple bottle. This is lavender. So maybe we can try this one today. And then for razors, I kind of always just go with the Venus brand. Um, I just love like how it's not too abrasive and like rough on my skin when I shave. So let's go ahead and pick these up. And you always gotta go for the five blade. The five blade razor is salty. 
And y'all already knew I was about to talk about this brand. Like I literally love these two products down. If you struggle with ingrown hairs, Look, mama, this is for you, okay? Within two weeks, I've noticed like severe differences. So I would definitely recommend this product. This is really good as well. Um, the results took a little bit longer to show, so I don't got too much to say about her, but baby, this right here, these little ingrown hair pads, phenomenal love her down and then as far as deodorant y'all know that dove just came out with a brand new deodorant but i don't see it here i typically just pick any one of these um the powder one is like a holy grail of mine i've been using it for forever then for the warmer seasons in the summer i like the spray that sprays on clear those are really nice i've never seen this though this says even tone should we try her oh ew no apple blossom and mango butter absolutely not i don't even gotta smell that to know i'm not gonna like it this is peach blossom and rice milk so we're gonna go with her the warmer season is approaching and we want our armpits to be even toned okay okay and now moving on to oral hygiene i honestly don't have a toothpaste preference i kind of always just either go with any of these three this is a crest 3d white brilliance blast purple or charcoal mint the blast baby gonna do it for me every time let's go ahead and pick her up and it's also time to buy some new packs of toothbrushes girl you should be changing your toothbrush out every like two months or so i normally always go with the oral b brand i always go with these i like the um manual toothbrush versus the electrical i feel like i just get a better brush Oh, these are so good. I love, love, love these floss picks. Grin Brand also carries floss picks, but clearly they're out of stock of everything. I highly recommend this, the tongue cleaner and the floss picks of the Grin Brand. And girl, it's 2024. Y'all need to stop using TheraBreath every single day. Like, I mean, she's cute. Like, she's tea. She was a moment, but like, we need to start using mouthwashes with fluoride. Um, this one is my favorite and it's alcohol free. This is a really good alternative. Um, I'm not going to buy a new mouthwash because I literally just got one, but this is better than this. Just saying, just saying. Don't fight me, don't fight me. And moving on to feminine hygiene. Your girl is a pad girly. I'm sorry y'all, I can't do the tampons, okay? So when it is that time of the month, girl, these are a lifesaver. I love these. I don't have a heavy flow, so I love the ultra thin ones. So we're gonna go ahead and put those in the cart. The cart isn't looking too crazy right now, y'all. I think we're doing pretty good. Okay, so let's keep shopping. Oh my gosh, y'all, wait, they do have the new dub deodorant. It was over here hot. Should we get this one? This is raspberry and rose. They have like a lavender one or the coconut and shea. It's given coconut and shea. And it's aluminum free. Okay, let's see what she's given. Now, girl, this is a holy girl. Like, I have been using that for years. Literally love her down. This is also really good too. Shea Moisture makes really nice body oils. I also used this before and I can't confirm that the girlies were right. This is really, really good for fading away like scars and uneven skin tone it also helps with stretch marks as well so if you be looking for a product this is your girl okay she's really good just a recommendation i already have some so we're not gonna pick some up today This one by Tree Hut is called Dragon Fruit, y'all. They could be coming up with anything. I've never seen this before. Oh, absolutely not. That freaking stinks. They also have this one. It's called Rainbow Sherbert. Like, when I tell you they be coming up with anything, like, girl, and it's green, like, what? Oh, ew. That freaking stinks. Why would you want to put that on your skin? They also have this one. It's called Sunkissed Poppy. Mm. That's all right. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it. And of course they have this one, the vanilla one. I feel like all the girls love this and I wanted to love it so bad, but I just, I just don't like it like that. Yeah, I don't, it's not really giving for me. It's not really giving like what y'all said it was supposed to give. Let's try pink hibiscus. This one's very light. I like that a lot. I think we're gonna get this one. The watermelon one is really good too. I was stuck on this one for a long time. Like it's so good. Like, y'all, it smells so good. I'm trying to go for new products, though, so I think we're going to go with the pink hibiscus instead of this one, but this is a recommendation. Y'all need to try this one. It's so nice. It's also time to replace my showering essentials. You guys know I really recommend you guys to do dry brushing. It literally changed the game for my skin. And I don't know about y'all, but these exfoliating gloves got me in a chokehold, girls. So we're going to go ahead and get some more of these as well. 
and I can't make my mind up if I like the brush or the loofah like I don't know like I really recommend y'all to get a back scrubber because it's so efficient running that washcloth up behind your back girl ain't gonna cut it okay so ever since i started using this like i just feel so much cleaner but i can't make my mind up on which one i prefer the brush is really nice but it's some about that loofah that just gets the job done so i think we're gonna go with the loofah you guys know i love waze products like literally the quality is so nice in all their products first things first this body scrub is so tea and it smells so fresh and clean this body cream is nice too it's super florally so if that's your vibe then i would recommend this as well i've never tried this one though so let's see what she smells like to see if we're gonna get her oh this is nice this is really nice but do i like it more than the rose i think we're gonna get her i think she's different it's a lot calmer than the rose for sure but it's still really nice so i think we're gonna go ahead and get her and i'm not gonna lie target is not targeting like they're out of stock of a lot of my faves but i did find my favorite um wave spray this is really good for like your extensions and stuff like if you're a flat iron be making your hair smell like hair sometimes girl this is tea it's literally so good it's basically just like hair perfume and once i started using it i could not live without it i don't know about y'all but sometimes after i like flat iron or curl my hair it be smelling like flat iron and it's not a good vibe but this right here tea so nice it makes my hair smell so freaking good like it smells so good and it's long lasting like it literally lasts all day so we're definitely gonna go ahead and re-up on this as well i'm not sure who owns this brand but i've always seen all the girlies trying it out i'm thinking about trying out this glow on perfume oil i feel like this would be good to do as a base before applying like my actual perfume for like a long lasting effect should we get her they also have this one too like a lavender one i feel like the cashmere vanilla would hit better though especially with that ysl libre that y'all know i've been wearing i don't know they have this one this is citrus amber Ooh, amber y'all know i love amber i don't know this is too much y'all i don't know what to do i think we're gonna go with her actually I think we're gonna go with her. So let's go ahead and put this in the cart. Moving right along, y'all. It's also time for some new washcloths. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't like that soft washcloth. Don't hand me no soft washcloth. These are essential i literally love these gray ones normally i go for the white ones but as you can see they're out of stock of that as well so we're gonna get the gray ones today Cause baby it's the 